Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Myth Busting. Today we are going to be looking at one of the oldest myths in the game. Now I'm going to guess that 90% of you know the answer to this one. I have seen lots of other YouTubers talk about this myth and yet it still prevails as a common myth in the Minecraft community. So this episode we are going to do the tests and find out if dirt or sand affects the growth of sugarcane. Now before we do any testing I'm curious to see what you the audience thinks is going to be the answer. So at the top of the screen click on an annotation to cast a vote. It will take you to a video for which we can use the views as a vote counter. So have a click and cast a vote and then we can move on to the testing. So we're going to start the testing by doing a large scale test. I'm going to make three copies of this map you see right here and using MC Edit, I'm going to remove all of the sugarcane above the base level. Now for your information there are 7680 sugarcane at this level for it to grow from. Now on two of these map copies I will also change the sand under the sugarcane to dirt and grass. Then each world will be loaded for 15 minutes and then closed again. Then we can use MC Edit to count the amount of sugarcane that has grown in each test. Now earlier I asked you to vote for dirt or sand and that's because whenever this myth is mentioned it is always sand versus dirt and grass seems to be forgotten about because sugarcane can grow on grass too. So in our testing we will be doing all three. So the testing is over, the results are in and I can tell you that the winner is grass although there is no real winner because sugarcane growth is random and every time you do this test you're going to have a different winner but there was 9,767 sugarcane in the grass world now 7,680 of that was already there so that means that 2,087 was the amount that grew during our test now sand was shortly behind with 2,048 and dirt a little further with 1,968 so if we imagine that this number is the most you can have 100% then sand was you know not too far behind you can see here it had 98.1 percent and then dirt a little further just 94.2 so using the percentages there we can put things into a better perspective so that equates to 2.18 sugarcane growing per second for dirt for sand it was 2.27 and for grass it was 2.31 so for our second test we are going to bring the scale right down and see if there is any difference with what one grows first. So in the previous test the sugarcane had 15 minutes to grow up to free high at which point that sugarcane wouldn't be able to grow anymore. In this test the sugarcane will only be able to grow too high in which it is automatically harvested and counted which is what this machine right here does. So there is a bud switch which means that when the sugarcane grows it's going to activate it will send a signal up here to this piston which is going to harvest the sugarcane it's going to turn on this lamp as well and it's also going to take an item in this dropper and put it into the chest in front of it so let's just quickly see that in action you can see it is self resetting and it will work every time and so with the droppers putting items into the chest it means that when we're doing our test and when it's finished we can count all of the items in the chest and then we'll know how many times the sugarcane has grown so that's it, the testing is over. I've had this world running for about six hours now and I've removed all of the sugar cane at the bottom before collecting the wool from the chests at the top. So let's have a look at the results. Grass was the winner again with 71 and dirt had 69 and so did sand as well. So it's very marginal the difference you can see there, 97.1% and that's because the game is not checking to see what's underneath the sugar cane when it grows it. So we have done two conclusive tests and as always we look at the game code when we can. So a big thanks to Guy Ryan for looking into this for us. So what the game does is it randomly picks a block. If it sees this is a sugarcane block then it will check the block above to see if it's an air block. If it is then it checks to see if there are less than three sugarcane below the air block. Then it checks the metadata which is a hidden value assigned to the block of that sugarcane to see if it is below 15. If it is, then it will add 1 to whatever that number is, and if it's 15, it will create a sugar cane in the air block. So you can see here, at no point does the game do any type of check to see what block the sugar cane is planted on, and also it needs to be randomly checked 15 times before it grows another sugar cane. So that is another myth well and truly busted and I know this is one of those ones that will probably never go away but if anyone ever says that sugar cane can grow faster on dirt or grass or sand then send them to this video. But that is it for this episode and if you have enjoyed it please do give a like it is always appreciated and if you have any myths that you want to suggest for an episode then leave a comment in the comment box down below. But that is it from me so as always thank you very much for watching and I will catch you next time.